Okay, so hello everyone, um, and welcome back to the besiege, um, to the besiege items that I'm sort of showing. Um, so here is what I said we start off with. Start off with the V-wing. Um, so the V-wing is a very simple design. Um, starting block is the sort of the base because it's an easy base to start with. It's the first block that you get. So yeah, I built it from the starting block. Just two of these wooden blocks from the starting block. Piston here. Um, single um, wooden block here. The piston is the cockpit held on with uh, braces so they won't go anywhere. Um, as for the rotating wings, um, you've got a turn block with a wooden block um, stuck to the side of that. Um, on, on here, this is supposed to be the insignia, it's a metal plate. Um, and then a large aerodynamic propeller on the actual turning block, and then on the small wood block, smaller um, aerodynamic propeller. So you go small aerodynamic here, aerodynamic propeller here, um, and then same on the other end. Um, and those are activated with um, with left and right arrows. As you can see, left arrow turns it like that. So if I was to take off um, zero G, we could land. There you go. And then turning on zero G, lift up. Then right arrow will turn the wings, and then off you can fly um, for the glory of the Empire, or um, or for the Galactic Republic. Either one. Um, it, dep it depends on what move you're in. If you're with the clones, then it would be uh, the Republic. If you're with the Empire um, in the later movies, then it would obviously be the Empire. Um, so there's a lovely blood splatter right there. Um, so yeah, the aerodynamic propellers and the turning blocks don't will not stay on as well. Um, see, we've already lost a bit. There's a bit. That's the cockpit. Um, off comes another bit. Oh yes, braces. Um, tried to add, tried to add some detail there, but as you can see, the braces sort of get covered up by the wood. There you go. There's there's my attempt at making it, but yeah, doesn't really work. Um, so yeah, there's the V-wing. Um, now moving on from that, I've got two different vulture droids. Um, here's one of them. This is the flying one, um, which is the first one that I tried to make. Um, there is the starting block. Um, from there, I built up with one block of wood, with a small wood block, one up, one across. That is the cockpit, um, or at least the rear of the cockpit. Um, slopes made with braces, or also strengthened as well. Um, then from that wooden block here, here and here. Um, this is a... Um, uh, sorry, this is a um, turn um, steering hinge um, attached to this wooden block, which will uh, turn it that way, not uh, that way. It won't turn it from this way, it will instead turn it this way. So these will rotate rather than sort of go out. Um, so yeah, from this to make the wings or legs of this Vulture Droid, um, it's a wooden beam, a, a wooden block, two wo two long wooden block, and then another wooden beam because they sort of start thin, come out, and then come back in again. Um, and then for the sort of symboly sort of things that they have on their legs, I've just added gripper pads. Um, and then again braces here at the front to try and make that slightly rounded. Um, like how it is. Um, and then with these, because they aren't actually attached, as you can see, there is a gap. Um, let me actually get something here. As you can see, there is actually a gap in between them, because there's there's the um, wooden pole, there's the steering hinge. So if, that, if I was to remove this brace, this would just fall off. Um, so yeah, here you go, Vulture Droid. You can then turn it like that, so that the wings are now as it would be flying, and then you can fly around in your Vulture Droid. Um, this was one of the early models I made. Um, I made this fairly fairly early on. Um, as you can see, it's not not all that sturdy because, after all, they are only wooden poles. Um, there you go. As you can see, it does break apart very easily because, yeah. Bye. There is the main body. There is the body of the Vulture Droid. If you were to if you were to deleg the Vulture Droid, that's what would be left. Um, there you go. Um, so yeah, not that steady because they are only wooden poles. One, two of the, two of the wooden pole legs are only held on by braces. So yeah, you can see why, 
why they came off um, pretty easily. Um, but yeah, it is a, it is a Vulture Droid, that's a flying one. The other one that I had, I basically just turned the legs, um, got rid of the legs, made it standing, and then, yeah, there you go. Take off zero G, so there you go. There is your walking Vulture Droid. Um, you can then sort of drag this around. And land, no, it fell over. Oh, lucky not to crash into that bomb. Um, let's get him back on his feet. There you go. Rehabilitation of Vulture Droids. Charity organization. Oh, off comes a leg. Uh, bye leg. Don't need you anyway. You have three legs. Um, so, yeah, here you go. Here's our Vulture Droid. Um, oh, again, very lucky not to hit that bomb. Can we grip it? Grip it with the pads. Grip it. Can't. No, it's sliding down. Oh, and he's exploded. Well, <laughs> that happened. Um, so, yeah, there you go. There's the uh, walking vulture droid. Um, moving on from that now. Um, where's it? Here you go, the X-Wing. Um, this is the most popular model um, so far that I made, and this is actually the first model that I made, so this was my first one. I have upgraded it a couple of times to make it better. For example, these didn't used to be steering hinges, these used to be uh, just wood. So it used to be just a wood X-Wing in a closed position, um, wings closed. Um, for the main body of it, it's five long wooden blocks um, with braces leading up to the cockpit, which is a piston. Um, the engines are made of uh, flamethrowers, graphic pads at the back for the added, added detail. Um, the cannons are made from a wooden pole, which sort of sits out that way, and then metal spikes on them. Um, the steering hinges are for the wings, so as you can see, start it left, left, at left and right arrow, control the wings, so you can have the wings into the X shape, and then you can fly around, defeat, defeat the Empire. Y turns on the flamethrowers for the engine. So there you go, off you go. Um, and yeah. There's my X-Wing. Um, it is the most popular model so far. It has about 30 people downloaded it as of now, which is... Um, oh, that was a person, I think. No, that was my X-Wing. Yeah, my X-Wing's dead. Um, so as of right now, it is um, a Friday, actually. Friday 22nd um, in England sheer time. Um, it has about 30, subs uh, 30 people actually subscribe to it. Yeah, um, one person has actually favorited it, which is, which is yay. Um, and yeah, this is the most popular one. The others, the other two videos I did um, a couple of days ago, so it would have been um, about the 20th, 21st, out them. Not too sure, still still slightly also if my memory's not quite as functioning. Don't know what that has to do with my memory, but um I'm gonna use that as an excuse. So yeah, X Wing. Um the X Wing is a very popular model and I do like it. It is a good model. Um now moving on to the Y Wing here. Um which is the second model that I made, obviously not as popular because nobody can beat the X Wing. Um <laughs> but here you go, here's the Y Wing, so here's the starting block. Built um out six, no five built out five uh, wooden blocks um, about the middle one across one up one across the other side braces everywhere <laughs> for the cockpit so here is meant to be the cockpit underneath these braces and this is just for structure and to look nice these sliders are just for more detail um, the detail of the engines um, and then here are the actual engines with braces holding on the one wooden block for the uh, sort of gap that's in between the engines don't know why they did that um, Anybody who who works and services uh, Y wings, please please explain to me as to why that design that design is. But oh well, um, as as I don't service Y wings, I I service more Tie Fighters. Um, yeah, I <laughs> I have no idea why um, they have that. I'm sure I can find out somewhere. But um, yeah. So anyway, uh, here is the Y wing. Um, yeah, it's a pretty thin model. Um, the sliders do move, which they're not meant to, but um, they're meant to be for detail. Oh, we'll avoid that. Um, oy. So, yeah, here's our Y-Wing. It's not as sturdy. Come on, grab it. There you go. 
As you can see, it does wobble. It will break apart pretty easily, I'm guessing, because look at those engines wobble. Look at it all. Hey, um... Let me try and take off this engine. There you go. There's one engine gone. Let me get the other one. Yeah, there you go. Um, so here's the main body. Can we break this apart in two, in the centre? I don't know. Oh, flies pretty fast. There you go. Total failure of the structure. Um, so yeah, there's here is the Y-Wing. Uh, now moving on to uh, some I made more recently. Uh, yesterday and today. Um, so here's the next one. The Sith Infiltrator. This, I wasn't too sure if I was actually going to do this. Because actually looking at it, it's a pretty difficult thing to do. Um, if you think about it in Besiege, where everything is square, like Minecraft. Um... And especially in small scale, because everything on it is round and smooth and sleek looking, because it is, after all, Sith infiltrator. You're not meant to be seen when you're infiltrating. Um, yeah, I decided to use the starting block as the top of the sort of dome cockpit-y thing, the sort of circular cockpit thing that's in the Sith infiltrator, and then a piston at the bottom. Um, to make this sort of sloping of the dome, um, they're just braces leading into the central um, top of the starting block. Um, the rest of it, wooden blocks, braces for the added detail. Um, because it has the sort of rounded wing winglets sort of things, um, I use the same thing as I did for the Jedi Interceptor, um, which is a steering hinge with um, wooden panels on two sides. Um, and then arrow keys control them. And that's pretty much it for the Sith, Sith Infiltrator. Here you go. So, there, there you've got uh, the wings, the winglets, things. Um, so yeah, I can I can infiltrate this tower. Um, turn off surgery, kill everyone, yes. I was using the force to levitate them. Um, so yeah, just Sith infiltrator. No, no controls. Um, the X-Wing did have a couple of controls, and that's probably the most control demanding one because it has Y for flamethrowers plus arrow keys, but then that's like the most controls you're gonna have. Um. Mm. Sorry, I have a cup of tea and I sort of gotta drink it now because it's nice and warm. Um. So yeah, I'll let you watch this glide and turn slowly in Zero G whilst I just finish this up. Mm, okay, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I really needed to drink that tea. Delicious, delicious cuppa. Delicious cuppa tea. I couldn't be British without having my cuppa. Um, right. Ooh, I think Wait, we haven't done stress testing. Um, that's like a thing that I have to do now. Now that I've started, I have to stress test everything. Oh, off comes a winglet. Off comes the other one. Um, oh, yes, that's broken it all apart. Look at that. Only the braces have held the structure. Um, Alright, off you flip, off you spin. There you go. Um, can we get anything else off of it? I reckon we probably can. The rest of it's pretty braced together though, so yeah, I think that's like the, I think that's the most that you're gonna get off of it. Um, so yeah, so here you go. Um, there's the Sith infiltrator. Um, then we've got. There you go, Slave 1. Slave 1 was also a pretty difficult thing to do. It does look a bit compact, now that I think about it. Um, <laughs> but, so, here is what it looks like from the top. Here are the guns, just braces. Um, small wooden block, brace that, and then get rid of the small block. Actually makes pretty good guns. Here's the cockpit, in integrating the um, starting block. Um, here is the base. Uh, the most difficult thing about this was actually starting it, and also doing this, which are the wings, and I'm still not very happy about them. Um, but, yeah, on the bottom of the base, just a little bit of detail, and also make it look a bit nicer, wooden panels, um, just on there. Um, the body doesn't really have much. Um, these are turning blocks. Um, 
10 blocks of the wings um, with a the hole there so that they actually move and don't get stuck. Okay, so yeah, need to leave a little hole otherwise it gets stuck on this bit. Um, other than that, I don't really like the wings. It seems a little bit strange. It looks strange. I think I made it a little bit too compact, a little bit too mini. Um, that was a loud sheep bar. What are you doing? Go away. <laughs> Bye. Um, so, yeah. The, the wings I don't really like. They're sort of a bit redundant on this because they look so strange. Um, yeah. The slave one can turn and then fly. It's alright. It looks cool. I like the guns. That's what I like about it. How I did the guns and the cockpit and the shape of it. But the wings are just pff, terrible. With a tiny little fly buzzing around me, go away. Um, right, so yeah, slave one. Um, I do have a good one, um, which is this one, Star Destroyer. Look at it. Anyway, yes. Sorry. Uh, my dad sort of made me have like a long time to not do this, like half an hour or something since I paused it, if it did actually pause, um, because he was sort of in the loft and I didn't really want to do the video because I feel stupid when I do that, um, but anyway, so yes, Star Destroyer, um, these are meant to be the two shield generators on top, sort of balls, here's the bridge, uh, here's the rest of the main body, um, keeping the shape using braces there, um, here's the back with the engines, um, and that's pretty much it. You can't really detail a, a big starship like this. You can only really make the basic outline and stuff like this. Um, but I think it looks good. I do like it. It looks very menacing. Very Imperial-like. Um, so you can go off and crush the Rebellion. Um, yeah. One Star Destroyer could take over um, an entire neutral planet. Just with... Um, just with the the amount of TIE fighters and stuff that it has. And then for attacking a big um attacking a big um industrial planet, um or or a rebel hell planet, six artist star destroyers would be used. Um about or uh, or um as minimum six star destroyers. Um but yeah, let's stress test this. Oh, off comes the front. Off comes another bit. Off comes another bit. Can we get the bridge and hull separated? We should do. Okay, let's take off this bit. This bit has been braced on though. Um, this bit, because otherwise it wouldn't otherwise have been on anyway. Um, so yeah, that's braced on, so that might not come off. Oh, off goes the brace. That's the whole front of it gone. Um, Imperial build quality is apparently showing itself here. Um, it's not coming off. No, not working. Uh, can we get the bridge? Yes, there you go, there's the bridge, right, good. Um, so the bridge and shield generators are off, and there's the rest of the hull. Oh, that goes a bit, bye. Um, right, so, yes. In the next one, um, so that was the um, Star Destroyer. In the next one, we'll go one better. Super Star Destroyer. Um... I do like this one, it looks very menacing. Um, but yeah, so we'll move on to the Super Star Destroyer in the next one. So I'll thank you for watching, uh, and goodbye.